Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a general reading and this is the theme of the reading from the Moonology Manifestation Oracle card deck. First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. Okay, there's something about this that reminds me of gratitude, all right? So let's uh, consult the tarot here. See what else you need to know. What advice do you have for Scorpio, please? What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio? All right, we will lay out the tarot and then we'll close with a Angel Answers Oracle card reading. You've got the Sun, the King of Wands. And like this, it goes in order. The Sun, Judgment, and then of course the world would be next. You have the Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. I like it. The world is here making an appearance. The, what a phenomenal reading. The Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. Well, if you're at odds with anybody, they can go kick rocks with this. It's like you won't need them. I'll tell you what, let's do this in order because it just brings me great joy. This is half the reading here, okay? This is half the reading. Things are going to be moving in your favor. If you have been at odds, I feel like you're going to be on to other things and not being worried about it. There may be an apology coming forward, but I still feel like you have a new door opening. Now, if you have some kind of plans to move or to travel, it might also consume your focus. So it's like, look, I don't have time to be in a quarrel with anybody right now. I'm moving on. In terms of love, you've got a beautiful relationship and a love story here. Be open to it. Be vulnerable. Be available to be loved because I feel like there's something here where people all around you, all right? And I know we had be humble and maybe that is about walking in gratitude and appreciation because to those who have more will be given. We've all heard that. It's a biblical phrase, not trying to go too religious on anyone here. But, you know, that what it means is your your energy Okay, when you are looking at your life through the eyes of appreciation and seeing all that you have, I rented a car not too long ago and it was a piece, okay? Like a, <laughs> a warning light came on. I mean, it was a, a half the size of the car I normally drive. But I got behind the wheel and I thought, can I drive this car for this many hours? Because it was quite a far distance. And I thought, but how great that I have a car that I feel is comfortable and fun to drive and all this other stuff. And the only reason why I got a rental is I like to keep my own car nice. That's why, all right? But it's that. And it's like you get more and more the more you see your life that way. So, uh, da, 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 and it goes here. And there we go. All right, so we have here the Archangel Gabriel. We have Scorpio here. Taurus is here. Leo and Aquarius. Gang's all here. We have quite a bit of water. We have you and your own energy anyway in the... the uh, Queen of Cups, but with this energy of the sun, I just feel like you're going to be enveloped in this warmth and the glow of, honestly, the kindness of people is how I get this, especially too with the Six of Cups. If you need a helping hand or you are making some kind of transition, you're going to have the most helpful people around you. If you are traveling too, I feel like you're going to keep getting upgrades and helpful people giving you things. Hey, I got a coupon for this, uh, you know, thing over here, this kiosk, if you want to, I'm not going to use it. All that kind of stuff, it just feels like it rains down on you and it's your own energy. You are the point of that attraction. This is about synergy. It's about attracting the right people. It's also too knowing immediately who you can work with and who you can't. Okay. And when I say can't, I should say that rather loosely. I said it really firmly, but I mean it in the way of really kind of seeing your preferences. And so what that's going to do for you, though, is draw people into you that are going to make things work in terms of a job, career, or if it's something to do with housing. If you've had the neighbors from hell, I feel like they're going to move. If it's not you that's moving, somebody here is moving on and you're going to have such a better, I heard, pair next to you. So if it is a pair of people that are driving you nuts and just, you know, seems like there's a lot of what seems like loud arguing is what I'm getting off of them, like loud arguing late at night and it's just not comfortable. And so with this energy of the sun, the sun will shine on you again. Accept it. 
with the uh, King of Wands here, I feel like life is going to pick up in the social circles. You're going to have lots more opportunities. If you have a job change or it's even at your current job, you're going to be given a new assignment that's going to grow your skill set. This is where you may be pushed a little bit or even if you go to some kind of a trainer, prepared to get your butt kicked, okay? Whoever this is will push and push, but it's only because they believe in you and they know that you can do it. I used to say, when we, I used to go to a lot of small group training with a trainer and you'd go two days in a row and be so sore the next day and say, okay, I'm ready for a hair of the dog that bit me because it was more training. But I do feel like whoever this is, they're a master at their craft, I hear, and they're going to help you to climb to new heights. I heard climb, not reach. I like reach a little or soar even better, <laughs> but it does feel like it maybe puts you to a test. And if it is something to do with a job, I do feel like you're going to come out of this period and have an amazing new skill set, something that you may say it was a computer system I never wanted to know, or something that I feel like you're not exactly excited about, but it sure is going to help you in the long run. So it's judgment day. You've got a tipping point here. You've got an information and announcement that's getting made. So I do feel like if it's something at work, it may be on the heels of somebody else's resignation, but it actually benefits you where you're gonna, like I said, have new challenges, but it's gonna overall give you a bigger bang for your buck, if you will. It's gonna give you more on a personal level, a professional level, but a personal level too. And so it's not just working for the man and you give them all you can and then they gain and you get nothing. It's like it really will do some things to amplify your resume. Those of you that it's like you're taking on something because of someone else's departure. But good for you. You're at the right time, at the right place, and you're gaining. And now with the energy of judgment, it is self-mastery. I heard the man who mastered fear. That's actually a short story from the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. So if that has anything to do with you, go for it. But uh, it's a story about the man who brought Alcoholics Anonymous to Detroit, Mi Michigan, or it was written, but he wrote it about his own life, a short story. But anyway, let's get back on this. So with the energy of judgment, there is a decision, but I do feel like too, even if your first re reaction is a little bit of reservation or even fear, it's going to bring renewal. You've got something here that gives you a fresh view, an elevated view of things. And so and judgment helps you release this fear, the co the core, core. I don't know why I keep saying core, the coffin of the ego. But why do they keep pushing me to say core? That's strange. Anyway, with this, um, with this card though, you release anything that doesn't serve you, especially fear. So with the um, six of cups, you have people around you who want to help you up, who see the good in you, who see. The capability I heard they had they see your worth and your value now I mentioned before it's helpful people all the way around and the reason why they're helping you is your energy that's why they feel it and otherwise they'd help somebody else um, but with this too in terms of love okay let's get back on that shall we you have somebody here that will be a life partner if you're already with them you can talk to them about anything you can trust them. If you ask them to do something, if they are you know, tasked with a job that we sometimes do, they'll actually do it. This is not somebody who doesn't follow through. It's somebody who, who matches your effort, I heard. They will match your effort. I like it. Now this Wheel of Fortune, if you are single, get ready because this wheel will change your life in so many various and wonderful ways. The wheel spins in your favor. And it ushers in new opportunities, new people, places, things that enrich your life. They make your life colorful and fun. And so the wheel here, this is a portal into the divine. I had the opportunity to go sit in a meditation room full of gigantic quartz crystals. It was fantastic. And you could actually put your hands on the crystals too. It was great. So those kinds of things, if that brings you into a place of serenity, tranquility, and allows you to work, you know, walk free of anything that doesn't serve you, do it, okay? And I shouldn't say if it does, of course it will. But with this wheel, I'm telling you, things are about to pick up. If things have kind of been hum-ho, get ready for the lights to illuminate your life. And with the world, nothing's better. This world energy is victory, success to the highest degree, to the nth degree, I heard. And so these two together help you know what to let go of and what to hang on to. But the the dancer in the tarot is ready for anything. She dances in the wreath of victory. She is a person, an energy 
that's very mature and ready for new experiences and that's what's coming towards you. And so for this energy too, if it is travel or moving, it's fantastic. A very high vibrational segment you're entering into. So remember, be humble. There may be something about that because as things begin to change and flow, you might find that you want to share the good news and sh you know shout it from the rooftops, but you may be better off kind of keeping it to yourself, especially too with the work. If you're given some kind of a task, that's like I said, you have a little bit of reservation. I wouldn't go advertising that because I just feel like people put in their own two cents and you know how they do. It tends to not always be positive. And so with this queen of, of cups here, follow your intuition, follow your heart. Because with this, it is, it's like the path to the heart. You're going to be walking along and having things happen in your life that will have you feel like this is a, this is the universe speaking to me. This is the universe working with me. In terms of love, it, it's going to be great with that Queen of Cups. Now, I mentioned before, if you do have some kind of conflict, I get it here with this Five of Swords, or if it is somebody that you say, no, I'm not going to share my great news with them, I know what they'll say. D make sure you listen to that. Don't get weak and tell them anyway. You know, we do that. We start trying to make small talk with somebody we don't trust, and then we expose ourselves in a way that doesn't feel good. So anyway, great reading though, guys. I love it. I love this for you. Okay, what else does Scorpio need to know? Messages for Scorpio. Helpful people, I told you, it's in the cards. The tarot really told you. Compromise, so there may be something about that bringing balance into your life. Success, okay, so even if there's a little bit of fear, it's like you're soaring to success. In the near future, they say, and you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.